Hi friends, my name is Safi. Today here I am to tell you about UV inks and varnishes safety. So let's start, UV and UV printing inks are intended to be cured after printing by exposure to UV or UV radiation. In order to cure, products of this type are based on reactive acrylates or other reactive chemicals, and should be assumed to be skin and eye irritants with the potential to induce or cause an allergenic reaction, sensitization, on skin contact. Exposure to UV radiation, even limited, will cause abnormal redness on normal skin. In certain people exposure to UV inks may result in skin sensitization and allergic reaction that can manifest itself at any time in some people. How are workers exposed? Contact with UV curable inks, varnishes, etc. may cause skin irritation or, in certain people, skin sensitization. Inhalation of ink mist or fly. In some circumstances small ink droplets may become airborne. The mist formed presents a hazard from inhalation and may be irritating to the skin and respiratory tract. It can have the potential to cause respiratory sensitization. Inhalation of ozone. Exposure to ozone gas can lead to eye, nose and throat irritation and at higher levels, headache, or nausea. At high levels chest pains and a cough may occur. Exposure to UV light. Exposure to direct UV light may irritate the eyes or burn the skin. It may also result in conjunctivitis, which is inflammation of the mucous membrane lining the inside of the eyelid and the forepart of the eyeball. Symptom Let's see, some examples of rashes due to UV ink core varnishes. How do you control worker exposure? Use protective gloves with single-use, disposable, non-powdered nitrile gloves. These gloves need to be replaced immediately when punctured or degraded. Inlined, non-powdered and natural rubber latex-free nitrile gloves with a minimum 0.45 mm thickness are recommended for longer duration use, up to 4 hours continuous, or activities involving mechanical handling. Wear clothing with long sleeves to protect your arms. When skin exposure is more likely to occur, for example during cleaning and activities, protective gloves, gauntlets of a length to overlap the sleeves of overalls should be worn. Grossly contaminated clothing should be removed and laundered or discarded. Wash your hands with soap and water after contact with UV slash curable products especially before breaks and at the end of the day. Never use solvents to wash the skin, but use an adequate hand paste or liquid soap. Hand cream should be used at the end of the day to prevent dry skin from repeated washing. First aid. Report any skin irritation to your supervisor immediately, and consult a doctor. In general. In all cases of doubt, or when symptoms persist, seek medical attention. Never give anything by mouth to an unconscious person. If unconscious place in a recovery position and seek medical advice. Inhalation. Remove to fresh air, keep patient warm and at rest. If breathing is irregular or stopped, administer artificial respiration. Skin contact. Remove contaminated clothing. Wash skin thoroughly with soap and water or use recognized skin cleanser. Do not use solvents or thinners. In case of accidental skin contact avoid exposure to the sun or other sources of UV light, which may increase the sensitivity of skin. Eye contact. Remove contact lenses, irrigate copiously with clean, fresh water, holding the eyelids apart for at least 15 minutes and seek medical advice, eye protection. Wear safety glasses or goggles at all times. Avoid wearing contact lenses. For the laboratory never look directly at the UV source even with eye protection. While ingestion, eating, drinking and smoking are prohibited in the immediate area where these products are being handled. If bulk ingestion should occur, do not induce vomiting and consult a doctor immediately. If accidentally swallowed rinse the mouth with plenty of water, only if the person is conscious 
and obtain immediate medical attention. Keep at rest. Do not induce vomiting. In case of spillage, what to do? Wear necessary, suitable protective clothing. Isolate and dike the area of the spill. Collect the spill with non-combustible absorbent materials. Personal precautions contain and collect spillage with non-combustible absorbent materials, for example sand and place in container for disposal according to local regulations. Environmental precautions. Do not allow to enter drains or water courses. If the product contaminates lakes, rivers or sewage, inform appropriate authorities in accordance with local regulations. Methods for cleaning up clean preferably with a detergent, avoid use of solvents, storage and handling precautions. Cleaning. Solvents may be used to clean equipment or floor stains. Wear protective gloves when working with solvents. If clothing has become contaminated, remove and wash skin with soap and water. Badly contaminated leather items should be disposed of. Contaminated materials should be placed in separate, labeled containers to prevent accidental exposure to others. Use an industrial cleaning service for protective clothing. Ventilation Adequate ventilation in the workplace is necessary. General and or IACOL exhaust systems should be installed to remove vapors where these may occur in operations. Storage all UV slash EB curable products are reactive and must be stored under conditions which will prevent polymerization and product degradation. Store closed containers preferably between 10 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. Keep containers out of direct sunlight and avoid excessive heating. Waste Disposal Cured materials can usually be handled in the same way as regular waste. Other waste could be classified as hazardous waste and must be disposed of in accordance with local regulations. Thanks for attention. Thank you, have a safe day.